When you ask AI systems like ChatGPT, Microsoft's AI, or even Google's version about the dominant battery technology in the next decade, they often suggest sodium could replace lithium as the primary material for batteries. Elon Musk's latest revelation has sent shockwaves through the electric vehicle EV world. Tesla's game-changing 2025 sodium phosphate battery is set to make history, boasting an incredible 1,790 miles on a single charge. This isn't just a minor improvement, it's a major revolution in battery technology. If you're curious about the technical details and what this breakthrough means for Tesla's future, you're in the right place. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to Autofusion and help us reach 8,999 subscribers as we keep you ahead of the curve with the latest developments on Tesla's cutting-edge innovations. So, how exactly could sodium-ion batteries rival lithium-ion technology? A groundbreaking material developed by a team of researchers, including the Canepa Research Laboratory at the University of Houston, suggests the answer could indeed be yes. This new material, sodium vanadium phosphate, boosts the energy density of sodium ion batteries by more than 15%. This is a significant leap for the technology, with energy density increasing from 396 watt hours per kilogram to 458 watt hours per kilogram. It brings sodium ion technology closer to competing with lithium ion batteries in terms of performance. Manu Kanepa, Robert Welch's associate professor of electrical and computer engineering at the University of Houston, explains that sodium is nearly 50 times cheaper than lithium, and it can even be harvested from seawater. This affordability, combined with sodium's energy efficiency, positions sodium ion batteries as a more sustainable and accessible alternative for large-scale energy storage. Sodium ion batteries can be cheaper and easier to produce, reducing the world's dependence on lithium and making battery technology more widely available. This breakthrough material not only improves the practicality of sodium ion technology, but also paves the way for a future full of more sustainable energy solutions. Sodium vanadium phosphate, part of a group known as superionic Na conductors, allows sodium ions to move smoothly in and out of the battery during charge and discharge cycles. According to a press release, this material features a unique sodium handling mechanism that enables it to operate as a single phase system. This means it remains stable while absorbing or releasing sodium ions. Researchers point out that this stability allows sodium superionic conductors to maintain a constant voltage of 3.7 volts against sodium metal, surpassing the 3.37 volts of existing materials. Although this difference might seem minor, it dramatically increases the battery's energy density, meaning it can store more energy for its weight. The key to the efficiency lies in vanadium, which can exist in multiple stable states, allowing it to hold and release more energy. This consistent voltage shift is a crucial feature, as it means the battery can operate more efficiently without compromising electrode stability. This is a total game-changer for sodium ion technology. Canepa goes on to explain that the impact of this research extends beyond just sodium ion batteries. The synthesis method used to create sodium vanadium phosphate could be applied to other materials with similar chemical properties, opening up new possibilities for advanced energy storage technologies. These advancements could revolutionize sustainable, affordable batteries for everything from powering small devices to supporting the transition to a cleaner energy economy. He emphasized the researcher's goal of finding clean, sustainable energy storage solutions. He pointed out that sodium ion batteries can meet the high energy demands of modern technology while remaining both cost effective and environmentally friendly. What are your thoughts on Tesla's new sodium ion battery technology? Do you think sodium ion batteries will replace lithium ion ion as the main EV battery, or do you believe lithium ion will remain the top choice for the foreseeable future? Leave a comment below and let us know why you think what you do. So, how does the new sodium ion battery stack up against the current lithium ion technology? Tesla, known for its relentless drive for efficiency and cost reduction, could leverage sodium ion battery technology as a potential game changer in its 2025 vehicle lineup. Sodium ion batteries promise a compelling alternative to lithium ion, offering lower costs, improved sustainability, and comparable performance for specific applications. Let's dive into how Tesla could integrate this technology across its vehicle and product range. Firstly, there's the Model Y Juniper, which could feature sodium ion cells. 
These sodium ion batteries are expected to increase the car's range up to 400 miles per charge, while simultaneously reducing cost by approximately 30% compared to traditional lithium ion batteries. For example, while lithium ion battery packs cost about $100 per kilowatt hour, sodium ion packs might bring this down to $70 per kilowatt hour. With the Model E's typical battery capacity of 75 kTEOP, this translates into a potential cost reduction of around $2,250 per vehicle. The estimated manufacturing cost for the Model Y Juniper could drop from $45,000 to approximately $42,715. This reduced cost could give Tesla the ability to either boost profitability or lower the vehicle's retail price, potentially setting it at $50,000 instead of the current $52,900 base price. This price cut could make the Model Y Juniper more competitive, broadening its market appeal. Even with the cost reduction, the 400-mile range would keep Tesla's reputation for high-performance EVs intact, positioning the Model Y Juniper as a more affordable yet equally impressive option. Next, consider the Model Q, a compact urban vehicle. Thanks to sodium-ion technology's reduced costs and solid performance in moderate climates, the Model Q could benefit immensely. This vehicle could come with a smaller 50 kHOA battery pack, providing a range of about 250 miles. At $70 per kilowatt hour, the battery cost would be $3,500, which is far cheaper than the $5,000 cost of a comparable lithium ion pack. This cost advantage could enable Tesla to price the Model Q at around $25,000, making it one of the most affordable EVs in its class. Such pricing would align with Tesla's mission to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy by making EVs more accessible to a broader audience. Assuming a production target of 500,000 units annually for the Model Q, the use of sodium-ion batteries could save Tesla around $750 million in battery costs each year. This savings would help Tesla scale production efficiently while maintaining competitive pricing. Moving on to electric motorhomes, sodium-ion technology could make long-range travel practical. For Tesla's upcoming electric motorhome concept, sodium-ion batteries could be transformative. Let's say a motorhome requires a 150 kWA battery pack. Sodium-ion technology could reduce battery costs from $115,000 for lithium-ion to just $10,500. With energy density comparable to lower-end lithium-ion batteries around 200 watt-hours per kilogram, a motorhome could achieve a range of more than 500 miles per charge. This would make long-distance travel more feasible, addressing a critical barrier to EV adoption in the recreational vehicle market. Additionally, sodium, being a more abundant and geographically diverse resource, would reduce reliance on lithium mining, supporting Tesla's sustainability goals. Assuming Tesla produces 50,000 motorhomes annually, it could save $225 million in battery costs by using sodium-ion technology. This could make electric motorhomes a more economically viable option for consumers, with prices potentially starting at $120,000. The implications of sodium-ion batteries extend beyond vehicles. These batteries could revolutionize Tesla's energy storage solutions, such as the Powerwall and Megapack. Their lower cost and stable performance make them ideal for stationary applications where weight and size are less critical. For instance, a power wall equipped with sodium ion cells could offer the same 13.5 kTW capacity at a reduced cost. If a lithium ion power wall costs $1,350 per unit, sodium ion could bring this down to $945, saving $45 per unit. If Tesla sells 100,000 power walls in 2023, the adoption of sodium ion batteries could save the company around $40.5 million annually. For larger scale applications like the Megapack, the cost savings could be in the hundreds of millions, particularly as Tesla ramps up its grid-level storage deployments. Now, is this the end of lithium-ion technology? Could Tesla's new sodium-ion technology revolutionize the energy landscape? The battery technology sector has experienced a dramatic shift, and Elon Musk's recent announcement has excited both the automotive and tech industries. Musk revealed that Tesla's 2025 lineup could feature sodium-ion phosphate batteries with an incredible 1,790 miles on a single charge. How does this compare to Tesla's current 4,680 lithium-ion cells, and what does the future hold for this emerging technology? The 4,680 battery, which debuted in the Model Y and is set to play a central role in Tesla's production strategy, has already redefined performance standards. 
with a five-fold increase in energy density and a nearly 50% reduction in cost per kilowatt hour compared to earlier generations. The 4,680 cells help vehicles like the Model S and Cybertruck achieve ranges up to 520 miles. Despite these breakthroughs, lithium-ion batteries still have limitations, including high costs, finite resource availability, and geopolitical dependencies, making the search for alternatives increasingly urgent. Enter sodium-ion phosphate technology. While not as energy-dense as the 4680 battery, it provides a scalable and sustainable solution, especially for applications where cost and raw material availability are more critical than maximum range. Tesla's ongoing commitment to innovation is evident in its long-term vision for sodium-ion technology. Recent advancements in material synthesis and electrode design have pushed sodium-ion cells beyond their initial limitations. With production costs potentially as low as $50 per kilowatt hour compared to the $100 per kilowatt hour baseline for lithium-ion sodium-ion could allow Tesla to target a broader market segment. Reducing barriers to EV ownership and enhancing the affordability of Tesla's energy storage solutions like the Powerwall and Megapack. Moreover, sodium-ion batteries' inherent safety and environmental benefits make them a strong contender for broader energy applications. They could play a crucial role in grid-level storage systems, vital for a future powered by renewable energy. As battery technology evolves at an incredible pace, Tesla's exploration of sodium-ion batteries represents an exciting new chapter in the race for sustainable energy solutions. Could these batteries redefine the standards for EV performance and affordability? Will this be the tipping point for broader adoption of renewable energy storage? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think sodium-ion technology can truly rival lithium-ion? How do you see it impacting the EV market? Share your opinions in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Autofusion for more updates on Tesla and the latest innovations. Stay tuned for our next video, you won't want to miss it.